you literally have to break this open. Good morning, good morning. It is another morning. We're on our way to school. It is a cold weather day. It feels in the negatives outside. Why some districts closed and delayed and we have not, I don't know, it baffles me. But to our babies walking in the cold and the snow and the negatives, I hope they are very, very warm and safe this morning. If it were up to me, I will call schools. And I'm a little biased because it's cold. I want to be at home in the bed. I did the snow dance. Nothing happened. All the snow is in Texas. All the snow is in Tennessee. What is going on? Anyway, it's very, very cold. We have on Good Chemistry picked up at Target. We have that paired with the Warm Vanilla Sugar Bath and Body Works hair by me. This is like the fifth reinstall. We first wore this hair to Bermuda on the cruise. Um, oversized sweater. It is very, very cold. We are layered up um we have just some comfortable layered tights and our doc martens with the fur on the inside nice and warm and that's what it's going to be today good morning good morning good morning walk 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 Good morning. Morning. Oh, somebody's hat. Somebody's hat. It's so cold out here. I don't even want to talk about it. I remember my bags, y'all. Honeycrisp apples. These apples be so good before $1.99 a pound. I can't do it. What's up with this one? Oh my goodness. We don't want no apples out of that patch. really really good especially when you're making sandwiches if you try let me know if you try to let me know how you like it it's 349 I just don't want to pay the extra for it when I do like it they don't really care for it at home hello happy Friday got on my I match energy shirt Shout out to my teacher friend for giving me this for Christmas. It's nice and comfortable and it's just me. We have Aquarius season right around the corner. But before we get there, it is Friday. And not only is it Friday, it is a snow day. Our first official snow day of the year. Even though it's about two to three inches outside, which is nothing for Ohio. So wearing our pajamas inside out and doing the little dance and flushing the little ice cubes down the toilet, it worked. I'm so happy. I was able to sleep in today and shredding papers, which I should have had that done before the end of the year. But I'm the type, I like to hold on to my papers for years and years because you just never know if you're gonna need them. But I said three to five years, that's enough. That's old, old enough for me to shred. So I've been in here shredding, which I'll insert right here, how much shredding I've done so far. Took my vitamins, took my shower, ready for the day hopefully they'll have the roads clear so that we can get out later for some dinner at one of our favorite spots but in the meantime i just wanted to say hello to you all open up the vlog i hope you are safe i know tennessee memphis um texas i know you've received some snow so i hope you're safe and warm i've seen a couple tiktoks where people were handling the snow and the ice well so i'm like oh my but up here 
So when I was like, you're still going to work. You're still going to school. So we just got lucky today for this three day weekend. This is second semester. Second semester, springtime is quickly approaching and the Lord has put it on my heart that I need to donate where needed. I don't know where yet. I want to continue to pray about where, but I know the assignment and the assignment is for me to continue collecting personal care, personal hygiene items, particularly for girls between the ages of what, 10 and up. Personal care, a lot of our young women are going to be starting cycles this year if they haven't already. And I just wanna make sure that they have access to what they need. And I'm gonna start off by donating where led some of those personal hygiene products. So I've been collecting them. I am going to continue collecting personal hygiene um, items to donate where needed. I would love to be able to donate everywhere, but we all know a one man show, not possible at this time, but I do make sure when I donate that I donate where God leads me to do so. A lot of our girls don't have access to what they need. We know that personal hygiene products are expensive. I'm talking deodorant, I'm talking sanitary pads, tampons, soap, I mean, the general tools you need to succeed, underwear, all of that stuff. So that's what I'm on a mission of collecting and donating here in the next few weeks. I'll show you what I've started to collect so far for that cause. And um, I'll keep you posted on that effort as the vlogs continue. I also want to open up this Amazon package I've received. For the first time, I've ordered something off TikTok too. I'm waiting for that to come. I won't tell you exactly what it is right now, but I've seen enough to know that I want to try it. It's something that could really help ease the struggle that I'm dealing with on a regular basis, right? So let's open up this small Amazon package. I was watching another vlogger. Her name is Poe, Onisha Prescott. I'll put her page up here. I really like her channel. But I was watching her and she ordered this item that I'm about to pull out. And she saw it on Chelsea's page, Chelsea's channel. Shout out to Poe for showing me this item that I thought would be very much so beneficial. Let me pull it out. Comes in a little box. Okay, so here's what it is. I know you're like, a box, girl? No, not any box. This is a box that cannot be open unless you break it. Look at the seams. You cannot open this unless you break it, right? Shout out to Amazon. There's one opening right here for money. This is a savings box. You literally have to break this open and this is metal. I think Pose is like ceramic or glass where you can just take a hammer to it. It's a, in a pretty pink color. But this here is metal, so I don't know how we're going to get this open, but I'm going to put the link down in the description box. I said better late than never. Just one slit, and it's cute. You can put it right on your desk. I paid $9 for this one. I think the one she had is $14.99. I don't know what I'll be saving for, but definitely toward the end of the year, I'm going to crack this baby open. We're going to be counting it together. I don't know if it'll be Christmas money, a winter vacation, birthday, who knows? I'm excited to see how this is gonna work. You put the little feet on it, and I'm gonna show you one more thing. I also got some turmeric soap for the face. It's all natural, um, Himalaya purifying turmeric soap. It says neem and turmeric. Here's what it looks like. Got this off Amazon too. It's just like, um, like it'll fade your dark spots. Now I'm used to turmeric being a yellow bar, but maybe the neem is making it turn this way. And it smells kind of like Irish Spring. This is what I mean, the Irish Spring now. Okay, okay, it has an Irish Spring smell, like an underlying smell, but I'm excited to use this and try this. I don't have any product on my skin right now, but I'm, again, I've seen what it's doing for other folks. So I wanna see if this can uh, make a little difference in my skin as well. And it's just like a purifier, just to even out your tone. So we'll see. You know, I told you I didn't get much. I'm doing good in January. That's the only thing I've ordered so far from Amazon. Your girl is on a roll. I am about to finish shredding the rest of these papers that I've been saving for three to five years. It's time to go, it's time to go. Make room for new things. I need to get down here. I don't have much cleaning to do today, it's Friday. We may go to our favorite restaurant later if they clear these little roads. 
because like I said, three inches is nothing. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next clip and I'll keep you posted on the community service. All right, let's go. I'm back on my kombucha journey. Anybody want to try some? But the thing is, I only drink one particular brand and flavor. I have not branched out. And it's the Health A Kombucha, the Pink Lady Apple. This is so good. It was like three something at Walmart, so I picked it up. I only do a shot. I'm gonna do a shot of this, along with my vitamin. Who we'll takes shots of kombucha? Take a shot of this. Did y'all want to try? Crickets, right? I don't know why they're acting like I'm not talking to them. Y'all don't want to try? You all can get the first sip. It's nice. This is an acquired flavor, definitely. <laughs> yeah, your Jay, he's talking about it's nasty. It's so worth the benefits, but this is my favorite kind. Let me know if you try this or if you try it, or let me know what your favorite kind is in the comments. If I see it in the store, I may pick it up. So we were gonna go out to eat. I guess we changed our mind. It is still pretty cold out. Jay's chilling, watching Speak, sports show. My baby is playing her games, and I am in the kitchen. I'm actually prepping. I am marinating some chicken wings. I cleaned those, seasoned those, and I was gonna make them tonight, thinking about doing some barbecue wings, but I'm gonna let them marinate overnight, and instead I'm gonna make a meatloaf. Let me show you what they look like. Here they are. These are um, the Amish fresh wings. So I just season them up, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of lorries, um, somebody all-purpose seasoning, a little parsley. I'm gonna let these marinate. I actually pulled some um, Italian dressing over them too so that it can marinate in the dressing. So they're gonna be so good and tender tomorrow. And in the meantime, let me pull out this meat so that I can get this meatloaf together. All right, change of plans again. The chicken has been put up. I'm about to do these dishes. I'm not gonna make the meatloaf. We're gonna grab some Chinese. You gonna get the Chinese? Yep. He's gonna get Chinese. So that'll work. That'll be pretty good for a Friday night. Put this chicken up and we'll probably have the meatloaf later on in the week. I'll show you the Chinese when we get it. Jay's back with the Chinese. I did end up making a meatloaf and putting it in the oven for Tomorrow, I miss when they would put it in the little cartons. Let me know in the comments if your Chinese place still does that. So I got a vegetable fried rice. Should be just vegetables tonight. I was gonna make my own chicken, but I'm just gonna go with the veggies. They taped it down. Jay's look good. He got a number 36. No shrimp, no pork. That looks good. I think he got beef. He usually don't, he usually doesn't get beef. We usually get the beef. I think he switched on over, y'all. And this should be vegetables. All vegetables. I said extra egg and extra onion. So that looks delicious. And then we love yum yum sauce, so they gave us extra sauce. Which I should be making my own, but sometimes you gotta go with the sauce the restaurant serves because they make it specifically for that meal. And they gave us two fortune cookies. The next day. It's Saturday, we are out. We're not out, we're getting ready to go out. It's afternoon, little one wants to go out. Jay's, he's at a game, and it, it's girls day out. Girls day out, we're getting ready to go. I need to just put my shoes on, let Leo out for a minute, lock up, and head on out. Say hi. Nobody 
loves me like you. Leah. Say hi. Leah. We're in Target. I'm trying to find something for Valentine's Day. You know how stores like to put everything out early and then it's all gone before the month even comes. So far, we only found these $10 t-shirts here at Target. I'm gonna put these in the cart unless or until I see something else. We also got like skim stoops over there. But this Target is not our local Target. So we will see what we can find in here. Looks like they're starting to put out some of their spring items slowly but surely. Like I said, this one is so messy. I feel like cleaning this whole store up. This is cute. The problem is it's for the babies. Like, where's the grown up um, pink and red? Mm, cute. $20. Oh, that's cute. On clearance. You gonna buy it with your own money? Oh, they finally marked down these um, New Year's Eve pants to $24. Where's the skim jumpsuit? It's only $25. Let me know if y'all have um, tried these skims yet, because I want to try them. They have that blue jean jumper right here. It's cute. This is clearance now, $15. Y'all know we had to come to Target, right? These bags are 35 Little travel bags. Y'all remember these shorts? They're coming back out with um, the side pockets. These are $25. They have them in yellow. And the pink. The white. They're getting ready for spring. Little pink blazer number. The little pants with the pleats on the side. Target said, um, we have the dupe you need for 30 bucks. These match the sides, $30. Target said they got you, look at the quilts at blue. Now these are my favorite go-to dresses for the classroom, 20 bucks. Look at all this clearance, all this clearance. Now this right here is about to make me get out of this section and head over to hygiene because this would be too much. Here's the Black History line for the culture. It's 25. Here's the Black History section. Here at Target. Oh, what's this one? Homage to Legacy. We're on our cool down. Happy Sunday to you. We're gonna go to the later service. Usually we go to the early morning. But we stayed up late and then decided to get workouts in. Exhausted. Watching the pivot, shout out to the pivot and Ocho Cinco and Ryan and the rest of the crew who got us through the workout. I'm just really cooling down. My legs on the bike. Trying to decide what I want for breakfast. I might just grab a banana. We just finished our workout, our shower. We got dressed. We are ready to go to church, the house of the Lord today. I was listening to TikTok 
And a young lady was stating some truth when she said, what we fear the most, we trust God with the least. And I was just thinking like, that is so deep. She went on the deep end. What we fear the most is what we trust God with the least. I was thinking about what I feared the most and it was true, it's true. That's what we tend to trust God with the least and we have to get out of that. We really do. We're going to the second service. We usually do the early morning, but we slept in today. Got up, got in a good workout. They're eating breakfast. It is cold in the teens today. I'm grabbing a little jacket. Have on this little Shein number. Doc Martens. Um, you know, something easy breezy and cute and comfortable. When we get home, we're gonna bake off the chicken that we've been marinating. I cannot wait. Don't know if I wanna make it barbecue, if I wanna put cream of chicken on it or let it bake as is. We have good games coming on today, particularly Kansas City. They're playing the Bills. You know I'm going for my homes all the way, even though they've been whining. Still can't separate it from skill, right? All right, so I don't know. That's all I really have to say. I hope you're doing good. I hope your day is starting off well. I hope your weekend has been well so far. Put in the comments, what have you been doing this weekend? What do you have planned today or this week? Would we'll love to know. I will see you all shortly, whatever we decide to do. And I guess I need to fill up this Stanley Cup because I do so much better when I'm drinking out of my cup. I don't care, I don't care. I do. Fill that up and I'll see you in a second. When your daughter's an armrest hog. over here. I'm being a creep. <laughs> Where's your nutty? Mom, stop. <laughs> it is nothing like being in the house of God. Like, I'm just, every time I, I make it into the building, into the sanctuary, it's just an amazing feeling. Would you agree? Yeah. The praise, the worship, the word in person, it's just unmatched, especially when you love your church family. I tell ya, I tell ya. Love your sweatshirt. Thank you. We're getting ready to start Hey fam, back home from church. Church was amazing. Absolutely wonderful word received. I can get this week started. I got a good word. My spirit is full. Pastor know he be preaching. Oh my goodness every single time thank you god thank you god for the message i've preheated the oven to 350 i'm about to put those wings in Woo! cannot wait till those get finished jay went back to church they had a little meeting his ministry they had a little meeting and uh in the meantime i'm gonna be putting on some youtube because it's my favorite day of the week to watch youtube vlogs most of the people i am subscribed to like to drop vlogs on sunday i do too sunday's my drop day um, which my vlog will be a little later. You, if you're watching this now, it's Sunday. Usually I like to get it out by nine o'clock, but I've been trying to get like Sundays into my vlog as well. I like to start my weeks off, my new vlogs off at the beginning of the week, like a Monday. I know calendar wise, Sunday is the start day of the week, but for me, Monday is like the real start of a work week. And we pretty much do the same thing every day. Every day, we all go to work. We all may go out to eat. We all may stop at somebody's grocery store or Target or something like that. So that's pretty much what it is for me during the week. Hope you've all still been enjoying because that's just what I do. And when it's cold, I'm pretty much in the house. As it warms up, we're gonna begin to travel more. We'll begin to do more things. In the meantime, I'm going to turn on the TV and catch up on some of you all's vlogs. It's my favorite vlog day of the week. I wanna see what's going on, what's new in your lives. 
and I'm going to kick back until this Kansas City game comes on. And hopefully Jay will be home by then. But we're just going to relax for the rest of the day. I wanted to show you all what I picked up yesterday. Not too much. Really not too much at all. It's like every time you go out shopping and you're intending to buy things, you never see anything you really want. And then when you're not trying to buy anything, that's when you see everything. <sighs> we went to um, Foot Locker. That was one of the stores where we purchased something from. I picked up some Converse socks. So you get six pair for $4.99. Check your local Foot Locker. Some of the Foot Lockers are going out of business. Well, at least in our area. One of our stores had everything 70% off. We did not go to that location. But the location we did go to, I was able to score these socks. I opened them yesterday. And then I said, let me wait and show my YouTube fam. So I do like Converse. I have low top, high top, glittery, all kinds of chucks. I'm a chuck girl. I saw these for $4.99. Y'all know these socks can get pricey, especially in a foot locker. So I picked those up and they're pretty tall too. Nice and warm for the winter. You can even rock these in the summer, but you can never have too many socks. Pick those up for $4.99. Also, let me show you the shirt I got really quick from Target. Target didn't have hardly anything Valentine either to decor for Target didn't have hardly anything. They barely had any Valentine. So yesterday at Target, from Target I picked up just the shirt. My daughter and I got matching shirts. We also got matching shoes that I'm about to show you from Foot Locker, but I was really disappointed in Target's um, inventory so far. Let me know if your Target has the bomb Valentine inventory. I was happy to see the Black History um, line in the stores. I didn't really, I'm honest, I was excited to see I was excited to see the black history line inside of the targets I went into. I wasn't really feeling what they had available for black history. Shout out to the artists, you know, for their creativity, but me personally, it just I just wasn't feeling it. Um, shout out to Target for even having the line available. Um, as far as the Valentine stuff, the inventory, they did not have a wide selection for home decor or just, you know, for clothing. So that was a struggle. Now for little girls, we saw plenty of Valentine um, clothing items, not so much for like teens or adults. And you all know I work in education, kindergarten. I like to dress for the holidays. I like to dress for the seasons. Um, when I'm at school, the kids love it. I love it. The only thing I picked up from Target was this heart shirt. And it is a pretty, it's a pretty good material. It's not see-through or anything like that. It's kind of like an off-white eggshell type of color. And um, just has a big heart on the front, which is like screen printed on here. I said, um, this would be good for the month of February. Heart health, Valentine's, just whatever. It's oversized. Throw it on. Dress it up. Maybe even put on a red lip in support of especially heart health awareness. I got one, my daughter picked up one. Whew. She got um, some tights from Target. That was pretty much it. I don't really decorate for Valentine's anyway, but I know a lot of you all do. You like to decorate and um, I looked for you and they didn't really have much. I don't know. I'll probably try them back later. And also from a Foot Locker, I was in there looking at some blazers. You know, we're coming up on spring and I like to add like a new spring shoe or if I find a shoe on clearance or on sale, I don't care if it's the newest release or not. If I like the shoe, I'm going to get it, especially if this price is right. So um, I was attempting to get size for the blazer and I saw the manager marking down shoes on a random table in the middle. So I went over, I was like, none of these are my size. None of these are my size. The pair I'm going to show you is not my size either. They're a little big, but it's okay. I can double the sock up or tie the lace tight. Um, they are Adidas. I've never had like that I could remember. Besides the shell toes, I've not had any type of Adidas. Not saying I don't like the Adidas line. I'm just like a Nike girl, Air Max girl, Blazers girl, and if I'm going to wear another shoe outside of Nike, it's usually Converse. Not that I won't. I love me a good New Balance too. Once, I used to have New Balance. I probably had them for about, I'm not even gonna even laugh. Probably, I like New Balance too for comfort and just durability, working out, running. 
um, excellent shoe. And I do like some of the styles of New Balance, but I just tend to gravitate toward Nike. I'm an Air Max girl. I thought these were really cute. Um, the color's in green. And I'm gonna tell you what led me to buy them. Guess how much I paid for these? So the shoe says regularly $100. Regularly $100. I was about to buy a blazer that was on sale for $59, the blazers. And then I said, uh, how much are you marking those down for? And the manager said, well, everything on that table is $19.99. Sold, $19.99. I'm gonna pair, who else need a pair? What size do you wear? I got a pair, my baby got a pair. Um, everybody could have got a pair at that price. But like I said, I'm always out clearing shopping, looking for deals, and that was right on time. So with this being this green and um, this cream color, perfect time for fall, winter. You can rock these. Here's the baked chicken. We have our broccoli. And we're about to eat it with some mashed potatoes, loaded mashed potatoes. All right, G team, that's going to conclude this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments. Talk back to me. I missed you all. Again, have a wonderful week. That's all we pretty much have going on. Only things left is to get ready to watch this Kansas City game. Go on here, my homes. Get, get y'all act together. Okay? I'm rooting for y'all all the way. Here we go. Let me know who y'all are going for in the Super Bowl. Shout out to all the Aquariuses. Aquarius season! It's now! Oh, we in a building, right? I'm getting ready for birthday plans. See you in the next one. Be blessed and be safe. And if you've made it this far, go ahead and drop some purple hearts. Purple hearts. Purple hearts in the comments. See y'all next time. Bye.